Hi everybody, this is Virginia Milner back with another tutorial and today we are going to make a really pretty uh, bracelet out of um, shapes double infinity links or infinity links and we're going to um, put two of those together and attach them with bead links. It's really easy, very simple, and very um, quick and, and easy to do. I already said easy. I should say it again because it really is very easy. So what you're going to need for this is 20 gauge wire, your usual um, pliers, your round nose pliers, cutters, and square or chain nose pliers. Uh, you're going to need some beads. I'm using some little tiny teardrop beads. I have fallen in love with these little guys because they're just so pretty. We're going to use some little teardrop beads and some tiny little um, uh, two millimeter uh, nuggets. I'm using silver. You can use a different color if you like, but that's what I'm using. And uh, we're going to make a really pretty bracelet. You can make this with beads or without beads. I chose to add beads. I saw something with just the infinity links all the way around. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could, but I like a little bit of bead action in there too. So that's what we're going to make today. So let's get down here to the other camera and get started. All right, so this is what we're making just double, um, double infinity links. Very, very simple. I'm just gonna show you how the links go, <clears throat> how to make the links, how to put everything together, how to make your class. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and do our infinity links. Now, each one of my links takes, uh, takes about an inch and a half of wire. And then when I finish, my links are approximately half an inch long. It's a little less actually than an inch and a half, but that, then that way I get um, a length that's about half an inch long, which is what I want. And you can make yours bigger or you can make your loop smaller. It's entirely up to you. So here's how I'm doing this. I'm going to take my round nose pliers I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna slide it almost to the very back of my pliers. Notice I did not cut it. Those of you who get kits, I would suggest you just go ahead and leave the wire long and then that way you don't have as much waste. If you want, if you don't wanna to have to deal with a long wire, just go ahead and give yourself a good inch and a half if you do the size that I'm doing. And the reason that I say leave it on, just leave it all together, is because you might want to make it bigger or smaller. Um, so you, you don't want to cut it and then end up having to throw that out because it's not the size that you want. If you want the size that I have here that ends up being about half an inch long, you want to slide your wire down to, I'm sliding it down to almost the back of my pliers, like so. I don't want any wire sticking out of the back because I want a nice round loop. I'm going to rotate my pliers until I have a loop on one side, just close it up. So there's my one loop. The only thing wrong with it is this thing keeps flip flopping around my spool. And then I'm gonna go to the other side, I'm gonna slide my wire down the pliers again, rest my pliers just under that loop. Flip flop, flip flop. My spool is flip flopping. Rest that, those pliers just under my loop. And I'm going to make another loop going in the opposite direction. So this loop's going that way. This new one is going to go the other way. I'm just gonna rotate until I have another loop. So it looks sort of like a figure eight. And if I look at it and it looks like one loop is a little bigger, I can make whatever adjustments I need. But if you put your pliers, your wire in the same place on your pliers, 
it should be just fine. So there's my little figure eight infinity symbol, whatever you want to call it. I like infinity, it sounds neat. So now I've got my second loop. I go in with my cutters, clip off, go along wire, and close up my loop. There we go. It's like a little figure eight. I'm gonna put it down and push it down so that it's nice and flat, or you can take your pliers and make sure it's nice and flat. There we go. Now I'm gonna make a second one, same thing. Slide my wire down a bit, almost to the back of my pliers, make sure no wire sticking out, rotate until I have closed loop. Go in on the other side, slide down. Oop, get on there, rotate until I once again have a closed loop. And make adjustments if I need to, to the size. And then clip off my wire. Now, notice I use the back of my pliers, or you can use, if you have this kind of pliers, you want to put the back of it against, against your wire and clip. If you have this kind of pliers, same thing, put the back of your pliers, the flat side against the very back of your wire and clip it off. And then make sure I close up the loop. Okay, and make sure that everything's nice and flat. And there are my symbols. So I'll put that to the side and let's make my bead link. So I'm gonna grab my wire again. And I'm going, and the easiest way to do this is to just slide on my beads. And I'm sliding it on with the bottom first for the first one. And then I'm taking a little tiny two millimeter nugget, just a two millimeter round bead, slide that on, and then slide the other one on the opposite direction. So I have the pointy side going on first so that it it looks like a little uh, little flower petals. And then I'm going to make a very uh, just a simple loop. So I'm going to slide my wire about a third of the way down my pliers. Make sure nothing's nothing's sticking out the back. Make a loop. There we go. Then I'm going to bend that wire back so that the loop is not hanging over the side like this. See how it's, I've got a straight edge and then I've got a loop on the side. Let's put that loop on top. So I'm gonna put my pliers in and bend back. There we go. And now I have one half of my, of my nice little link. Now, 
there's two ways you can finish this, this other loop off. You can either cut it off, give yourself about, oh, three quarters of an inch and cut it off, or you can leave it on your long length of wire, bend it back. You want your loops to be going in the same direction. Take your pliers, slide it down a third of the way like we did the other one. Make sure it's laying right. Wrap the wire over the top. And underneath the pliers, between the pliers and the links in the uh, beads, and then you can cut it off. I'm gonna check and make sure both of my loops are about the same size. This one looks a little bigger. So all I need to do is go in there and close it up a little bit. Just pull the tail until it's a little bit smaller. Still a little too big. My pliers, let's close that up a little bit. And you have to be careful when you do this because you don't want to close your loop up completely. You just want to make it a little smaller. There we go. And then take my pliers. And just like I did on the other side, just go, go to the inside and lift this a little bit away from the bead because it's kind of hard to get in there. And clip. It's a little further back than I want it, but now my spool's out of the way. Let's go back in and clip a little bit more off. Get that little tiny bit on the end. And close up my loop. And there we have it. There. And now we're going to put these together. So let's go ahead and just open up one side of my little bead link, put one of my infinity links on it and then add the second one and close the loop. Nice. And now let's add that to the rest of my, of my bracelet link and my um, chain link. Open it up. Slide one on, slide on the first one, then slide on the second one, and close. Told you it was simple, didn't I? I think I did. I used the word easy, easy, simple, simple, easy. What can I say? Make sure that's nicely closed. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, ah, so easy. And now we just need to finish it off. So what I'm going to do is make a very, very simple clasp. 
that looks like the rest of this. So what we're going to do is make another one of these, but we're gonna just do a, an individual one. So we're just gonna make a small loop. So I'm gonna go about a third of the way down my pliers, make a small loop, go to the other side and make a larger loop. You can go almost to the back like you did this one. Just one side needs to be small, one side needs to be large. And the large side is what you're gonna put your hook through. And there we go. Nice. And I'm going to clip off right on the inside of my loop, like I did the other one. Clip that off. Make sure it's nice and closed. There's one side. And then make my hook on the other side. Now this also takes about an inch and a half. You're gonna have, this took an inch and a half and obviously these lengths are bigger, but go ahead and give yourself an inch and a half for this if you wanna cut it. And then that way you don't have to worry about not having enough. If you still have a long length of wire, you may as well just go ahead and leave it on there. Otherwise, give yourself about two inches for your hook. You won't need that much, but it's good to have. So again, I'm gonna slide my wire down about a third of the way to, down my pliers. I'm gonna rotate until I have a loop. And then I'm going to make my hook. I'm going to go all the way back to the back of my pliers. I have a square back here in the back, so I have to be, a, be careful to avoid that. Then I'm going to wrap my pliers around until I have a shepherd's hook. Neat, huh? Then I'm going to cut this off about half an inch away from my loop. Now, you can do, again, you can do this one of two ways. You can either cut it off and then make your loop, or you can make your loop and cut it off. So I can go down here right under my loop that I'm going to use to hook to my infinity links. And I'm just going to make a teeny tiny loop. So I want to go all the way to the tip of my pliers with my wire. So I'm grabbing the tip of my pliers with the tip of my wire. And I'm going to make a loop. I'm just going to go three quarters of the way around, not all the way. And then I'm going to cut it off. Again, the back of my pliers is going to be leaning up against that wire. Snip that off. And then I'm going to take my flat pliers and I'm going to Squeeze that down to a little nub. And there's my little hook. A little bit tighter. Now, put it all together.
a little closer. There we go. And now let's put it together. So we're going to take the hook, open up the little ring back here, slide one of our infinity links on, and then the second one on, close it up. In fact, I think I'm going to make this a little shorter. It doesn't need to be this long. Make that off. And again, grabbing the tip with the tip. And squeeze. And let's make a little adjustment here. Make this a little closer in. Doesn't have to be huge. Just has to be nice and functional and pretty at the same time. There's my little hook. And let's put my loop on. So I'm going to open up the small ring. Slide one on one of my links, the first link. Second one on the second link. I mean, the second one on. And close. There we go. And voila. We have a beaded infinity link bracelet. <laughs> Yay! I love it. Isn't that lovely? So easy. All you do is make your little links, your infinity link, your beaded link, make your nice little little hook and infinity link um, clasp and, and you've got a bracelet. I'm always saying, what could be easier than that? But <laughs> it's true, what could be easier? <laughs> Let me put it on. Let me put it on and show you what I've got. Oh, now make sure that you're measuring as, as you go, because you want to make sure that your bracelet is big enough, but not too big. Some people like there's a little more, um, not dangly, but a little bigger Get over here. than I do. I like mine a little tighter on my wrist. I don't necessarily like it hanging down too far over my hand. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't that neat? I love it. And I really like the fact that we kind of repeated the pattern with, um, with my loop here. Oh, cute, 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 cute. Let's back this up a little bit. I can't see. Cute, 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 cute. And easy, easy and cute. I love both words. <laughs> okay, enough of that silliness. So, <laughs> enough of that. So, we have one more tutorial under our belt and one more lovely piece of jewelry to wear. I think this is, <laughs> this, this is very dainty and delicate. You can make um, bigger lengths and use bigger beads. This can be adjusted to, let me turn that light off. It's giving me a lot of glare. This can be adjusted to any size you want. You can make big loops, not too big because you don't want them poking out um, 
on the sides, but you can make bigger loops and use chunkier beads. I know people keep saying chunky is in, so we're gonna have to do some chunky things, I know. Um, but I wanted to do one last little delicate thing that you can use, maybe you can go, I have things are opening up, you want to wear something really pretty out when you go out, holidays will be coming up pretty soon, and in the next few months or so, and you want to have something pretty that you can wear. This is about as easy as it gets. Very pretty, you can make it look very festive, but it's just an easy thing to make and you can make it for gifts. You can make this in about, oh, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes tops, depending on how finicky you get, but it's so easy. You don't even have to measure too much because all you have to do is make sure your, your loops are the same size and you're done. Anyway, enough of that. JewelryGen20 at gmail.com. Come talk to me. Show me pictures of what you make because I would love to see. Ask questions of anything that you don't understand because I would love to be able to answer the questions. If I can't, I will find an answer or refer you to somebody who hopefully can. But I will tell you, I really will not tell you something that isn't, isn't true. Um, from my experience. Leave pictures on the library Facebook page or just come on by and give them a like for, for letting me do these lovely tutorials for you because um, if it wasn't for them, these would not be happening. So come on by um, to facebook.com slash decab library and scroll down and you'll see all of my tutorials that I've been doing for the last uh, over two years um, every week. And just come by and say hi. Let us know what you think. Let us know how you like them. Let us know if you don't like them. Let me know if there's something that you would like for me to do or to make or to teach because I love that kind of feedback. Any feedback is great. Don't hesitate to, to come and tell me what you want me to know, okay? So until next time, I hope you have a great week. I hope if it's really hot where you are, you are able to get cool, cooled off because it's still summer here and it's very warm. It's starting to cool down a little bit, but I hope that everybody has um, is safe and has the ability to get cool wherever it is. And you need to go to get there. But until next time, have a great week. Have a good weekend and see you later. Bye-bye.